Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, it appears that other restaurants are starting to follow the in and out blueprint. And what I mean by that, they just don't want to be checking people to make sure they have the potion. Basically, a lot of these restaurants in the Bay Area who have guidelines where they want them to check people's, uh, you know, uh, status. And you know what I mean? They basically have came to the conclusion they don't want to do it. So some of these uh, places are getting fined. Some of them are getting threatened with getting uh, temporarily shut down. You know, they've started uh, hotlines where people <laughs> can, can basically snitch. And I just want to say to the people that snitch and fuck y'all. Uh, I don't I don't blame these restaurants because at the end of the day, they they job really is to serve food. And they don't want to be sitting up there basically policing and segregating their restaurants because this thing has just been a, a, a strain on just everybody. And due to the fact that the Democrats have truly showed who they are, you know, and they're looking for other people to blame for this based off the fact that they are losing America as a whole and people are starting to see what snakes that they are and they truly tr starting to see who the fuck we have in office you know so that's basically the bottom line and these restaurants are just like hey we just want to serve people and that's it we don't want to be policing people and like I said before I don't blame them they do not want to do the government's job and the funny thing is you have places where you have people who are in law enforcement who have reservations about you you know what taking the you know what that's what makes it so ironic and then they may be possibly going undercover or people from the health department going undercover or they just got plain people plain solid people that's on that vigilante shit and the self-righteous shit calling these hotlines and snitching so, you know, at the end of the day, I just think this is just a damn shame. And it's a shame that the country and everybody is divided once again over this whole issue. You already had racism and bigotry going on anyway, but now you have the, you have it all rolled up into one and now you have people hiding behind somebody, you know, taking the potion to exercise their prejudice but yeah i don't blame these restaurants one bit they feel like hey we just want to serve people food and just leave it at that we don't want to be checking everybody and we don't want to be segregating people you know i've heard people talk about this on the news saying hey i feel like this is the 1950s i don't want to segregate my restaurant I don't want to do that. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, this is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.